Today we have a great dating saga from TikTok. If you ever thought cheese couldn't ruin a date, here's proof that you're wrong. Guys, I just got back from a hinge date. Why am I doing this to myself? So we scheduled to go to dinner. We are sitting at the restaurant. Seems very nice. Not a catfish. Things are going well. And the waitress comes over. She wants to take her order. And I said, okay, I'm going to take the Branzino. And he said, I'm going to take the burger. And the waitress asked him, okay, how do you like your burger? He said, how he likes his burger. And do you want some cheese on your burger? And he asked, is this going to be extra? And she says, yes, it's $3 extra. And he said, okay, then never mind. Over there, and I'm like, what the actual fuck? I'm like, okay, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat my friends, you know, and see what happens. And he's like, oh my god, you have to pay extra for everything these days. And I'm like, yeah, it's New York City. So I got my Bernzino, he got his burger, we were eating. And once I was satisfied, I got up and I was like, I'm going to the restroom for a second. And I took my purse and I went to the waitress and I was like, hey, I just want to pay the bill. And I just paid the bill and walked out of the restaurant and I texted him. So I texted him, the check is taken care of, you should have gotten the cheese. And I blocked him. Now, there are two different ways that you could take this. On the one hand, you could, you know, take the masculine perspective, I guess, um, the side of the, the guy and say she's completely overreacting. She's a little bit, it's a little bit ridiculous to have such a tiny, small moment of an interaction dictate whether you're going to be interested in dating the guy or not. Uh, if you're going to be fair about it and if you're going to be honest about it, then you should actually give the guy a fair shot. And it is like, maybe he just didn't feel like the cheese, you know, it's completely an overreaction to go, okay, you know what, that kind of killed my attraction to this guy. And especially the part of how she decided to deal with it by just getting up uh, towards the end of the date and just walking out the door without saying anything to him and then blocking him is a pretty childish and immature way of dealing with that situation. And I have a lot of sympathy for this perspective. I assume actually this is largely why this clip ended up going up, uh, going viral, because I think that her reaction, her response was just so over the top and the infraction was such a minor one, such a tiny thing that it seems totally unreasonable. That said, the other perspective, kind of from her perspective, and I, I guess to some extent, like the female, the feminine side of, of seeing it is that honestly, you kind of do want a generous man. And one of the things, especially at a date where you have this setting, the whole purpose of a date is to try and, it's all about first impressions, right? You want to gauge how much interest you have in the other uh, in the other person and they want to gauge how much interest they might have in you. Um, this idea of, of like fledgling attraction is very important in the context of a date. And so the first impressions that you make do matter. And yeah, obviously it has nothing to do with him not wanting to have cheese on his burger but the fact that he may have wanted to have cheese and then chose not to have it because of a really really tiny expense like three dollars i kind of get her point in saying you know what that's not that's not exactly what i'm looking for in a man if you take it as a as indicative of how he deals with money in general i know we've come to this point on a societal level where we like to pretend that women don't care about men being providers but if you're looking for a long-term partner and you're interested in having kids, then not only is it kind of necessary to have someone who you think is generous with their money and, and who is interested in providing, uh, but also you're going to be dependent on that man for some period of time when you have kids, because pretty much every, every woman out there will need to take some time out. So it's a lie to pretend that it does not matter. And so this is a really perfect example of these uh, situations where people just come at it from a completely different perspective. I do think that she totally overreacted. I probably would have tried to just talk to the guy about it and ask him what was up uh, and and then seen you know seen how he responded to it to see if it was that he's not generous or that he's a bit of a cheapskate uh, or that he just wants to avoid spending money or if it's part of a a bigger uh, set of values that he has when it comes to spending money and how he manages his finances like maybe it shows that he's more responsible and the really interesting thing is he does actually respond to this video we assume that it's the guy obviously i have no way of knowing for sure but uh, he does respond to this video so we can uh, switch to that one to be fair i had the intention of paying 21 dollars for this burger so adding three dollars for cheese was not 
fucking worth it. But thank you for paying for dinner. Bye bye, ta ta. And you can see, like, he doesn't take it very seriously at all, which is fair enough, honestly, from his perspective. If I was also like, yeah, nah, nah I, I, I don't think so. It's not really worth it. Maybe I already think the restaurant is overpriced and the quality of the food that I'm getting, I'm not super impressed by. There are obviously a million different reasons why you could say, I don't actually want to spend this money. And it's a pretty good comeback. As you can see, it's a very short one, but it makes perfect sense. And it presents her in an even worse light. Now, she does an update where she provides a whole bunch of context that unfortunately makes it even worse. Do you think I don't know that I'm crazy? I'm crazy. But you're taking it to a different level. You really need to take it easy. Some people going through all of my videos commenting that I'm ugly, that I'm a four, that I'm a two, that I don't deserve love, I should die alone, I should delete myself, I should kill myself. That's not okay in any way. Why are you taking this stupid video so seriously? I'm having a laugh about it. The guy is having a laugh about it. We're talking still and we're gonna go on a second date. Like he, he's, he's, he laughed about it. He's a psycho like me and we're gonna have fun. It's gonna be okay. And you're going laughing about my TV. Yeah, I know that I'm broke. I'm a fucking student. I'm an unpaid intern. I'm broke. My rent is half of my paycheck. I'm literally, I'm broke. And yeah, I have a huge credit debt. And that's, yeah, and I'm fine about it. I'm broke and it's gonna be okay. And I make really bad financial decisions. But when I go out on a date or to a restaurant with a friend, I'm not gonna bitch about money. I'm gonna enjoy myself and I'm gonna deal with the money later. I'm not gonna be like, oh, that's expensive. When you go into a wine bar, and they sell a glass of wine for $15, are you gonna bitch and be like, uh, yeah, I can buy a whole bottle of wine for $15. When you go to a restaurant, you pay extra. You're not gonna pay like you pay in a supermarket. All of you guys going through all of my videos, all of my Instagram photos, commenting me these mean comments, I hope that it makes you happy and I hope you're gonna find something else to do today. Obviously, I don't condone any of the response that she got from the internet. Unfortunately, that is what happens when you put yourself out there online and people can see what you put out there. But uh, unfortunately for her, she really kind of does not, she does not make a good case for herself here at all. Uh, the fact is, she admits that she makes really terrible financial decisions. She admits that she's broke, that she makes really bad financial decisions, uh, that she's an unpaid intern, and that she goes out to restaurants and decides that she's not going to care about how much money she's spending there because it's kind, it's not a cool move. And I get it, honestly. I, I also would not choose to go to a restaurant that I cannot afford and then sit there and make a, kick up a fuss about how much money I'm going to spend there. Of course, that's not cool. But if you're going to yourself present it in this light of, well, I'm making a terrible financial decision, maybe one of the reasons that you make financial, like one of the perfect examples of the bad financial decisions that you are making is that you choose to go to a restaurant that you can't afford and then you order things and then you tell yourself, yeah, well, I'm not going to complain about the money now. I'm going to deal with it later. Like if that's how you treat this, then that's not a good sign for you. And if this is a big problem that you have in your life, your finances, then honestly, if you end up with a guy who's a little bit more reasonable and a little bit more responsible and can maybe teach you a slightly better, like to have a better relationship with uh, with money, then maybe that's actually a good thing. The, the worst thing I think about this is when she admits that her finances are in terrible shape and she has debt and all of these things, but then she has this real superiority attitude. She feels that she's very superior to the guy there and she can judge him for maybe making a decision where he's not spending extra beyond his budget uh, because he's actually a responsible human being and maybe he has bigger plans for his money. That's the part where if you're judging someone for being better than you in some ways, then that's not a good sign. And I, I, I'm, I am saying this, I do believe that being a cheapskate is not an attractive trait in a man and I understand where she's coming from. But, um, but yeah, context is not a good look here. If you're interested in further videos like this, feel free to like the video and leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next one.